Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Daily Land. So before we get into today's uh, topic, which is toxic relationships, as I'm sure you can see by the title, um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on why I haven't been posting. Uh, so I moved into a new condo, so the move and everything took a little bit. Um, I bought a brand new car and I bought a brand new puppy. She's actually at my parents' house right now, but if you want to see what she looks like, she's cute. She's a mini wiener dog, weighs like six and a half pounds right now. Uh, my Twitter will be in the description as well as my Instagram where I have pictures of her. Um, so yeah, that's why I haven't been posting, but I'm starting to get back into everything. I actually just bought a brand new gaming PC, so when that gets built, probably two months or so, I'll have it. Uh, I have been streaming more recently, um, twitch.tv slash dillyland, that link will also be in the description. But yeah, let's just jump right into this. Alright, so toxic relationships. So this video is going to be about how to get out of a toxic relationship. I was just in one. Um, same girl from the last video because I didn't listen to my own advice about it but that's neither here nor there so getting out of a toxic relationship is very very difficult um speaking from experience so signs of a toxic relationship you have the highest highs and you have the lowest lows with that person um you guys can never seem to get on the same page they don't really support you like you want uh there could be mental abuse there could be physical abuse um, but yeah, that's basically the signs of a toxic relationship. Also, I'm kind of flying off the cuff with this video. I don't have a script written down. I kind of just wanted to get in front of the camera and talk. You know what I mean? So how to get out of a toxic relationship after you have seen the signs? Um, friends are a big one. If you have a good support group, they'll be able to tell you if they see any of the warning signs that you don't see, uh, that can maybe open your mind up to actually what's going on and believe me I know that getting out of a toxic relationship is way easier said than done so steps that you can do what has helped me is I've thought about is this the right person for me and basically what I mean by that is does she you know for lack of a better term hold me down is she like a ride or die does she support me in whatever I do? Is she happy for me? Is she there for me when I'm not, you know, at my highest? So those are some qualities, obviously, you want in a partner. The biggest one is does that person want to be with you? If they keep messing with you, playing games with your head, you got to get out. So you got to think, is there somebody out there better for me? than this person if the answer is yes then you can start to take the steps mentally to sort of distance yourself from that relationship um, that could be a few distractions picking up a new hobby talking to friends like I covered in my last video um, and by the way the link for that video will be down in the description so once you start to take the steps to separate yourself mentally you gotta be honest because you also don't want to start playing my games and just randomly start ignoring the other person you gotta say listen you know this relationship I still love you I still care about you but it's just not working in this way you know you guys are very volatile the other person's bringing stuff out of you that you never knew before like a different side of you a bad side um, you guys are fighting all the time and you don't want to be that person so then you gotta take steps to grow the biggest thing the biggest reason why people stay in a toxic relationship is one they obviously care about the other person but two I feel like especially with in my case I was more scared to be alone and without that person you know what I mean even though I was I mean I really don't, I'm not trying to talk bad about this girl I'm just trying to give examples even if she wasn't there for me when I needed her at least like sending a couple texts made me feel like I had somebody in my corner even though I really didn't if that makes any sense um, so you really get to talk to your friends get a good support system but you have to be okay with being alone 
And being alone is actually kind of a beautiful thing. You can grow in ways you didn't think you'd be able to. It's going to make you a stronger person. But one of the biggest things is every relationship is a teacher for the one when you actually find, you know, the girl for you, the one, quote unquote. Uh, So you can use that as warning signs. Say if the next relationship would be toxic, you can see, oh, well, my ex did this. She's starting to do this. Then you can try to have a conversation. If that doesn't go the way you want it to, then you can get out and you don't have to worry about any of the heartbreak of the other relationship that you had. So I have started streaming more. Gaming is a hobby that I've picked up. A great time killer. Like I said, I got a puppy. Her name's Roxanne. I love her. She's an excellent companion. You could get a pet if you have time for it. They are a lot of work, believe me. Um, But yeah, just surrounding yourself with things that make you feel good, getting new hobbies, and creating, you know, that world that you want to live in. And then when you pick yourself back up, your character will be better. You'll feel better. You'll be more confident. There'll be no shortage of other people that you can you know, either mess around with if you don't want a relationship anymore at that point, or you'll be better suited when you find a girl that's actually going to hold you down. So another reason that it's very difficult to get out of a toxic relationship is I know in my case, I am, I'm a licensed plumber. That's my full-time day job. I'm actually in my uniform right now um, because I just got off work, but I So as a licensed plumber and being a plumber and being a tradesman, I tend to want to tend to want to fix things, you know what I mean? And that's not always the healthiest in a relationship. I'm like, oh. so for example, I'm like, oh, she did this thing, but we can work on that and we can fix it because I can handle taking the abuse, but I know we'll be beautiful after this, after we come out of this stronger. And that coming out of it stronger never ended up coming if that makes sense don't make a sexual joke in the comments but it's I always would try to fix everything and you can't be somebody's therapist you can't be a fixer you know what I mean that's not your job as hard as it is and you want to help the person if they're going through something that's that's completely fine but you can't be the be all end all of that situation you know what I mean and I would just keep trying to fix and fix and fix and fix and fix until you know, you try to do so much and you put all of your emotions aside to help this other person. And then that other person, when you need help now, they're not there for you. Kind of using you for back of, lack of a better term. And like I said, this is not to throw shots at my ex at all. It's just I'm trying to speak from experience to maybe help you guys. Maybe somebody who's watching this video is thinking... They, they might think they're in a toxic relationship or they don't even know it and something that I have said has piqued their interest and they can either fix that portion of the relationship or they can get out and find a person better suited for them. You know what I mean? So that's, that's why I try to make these videos. I kind of rant and ramble a little bit, but I don't want to come at this with a script and seem very, you know, like this, 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 and this. I want to convey some emotion into the video. You know what I mean? So that's, that's pretty much, that's why I try to make these videos every now and then get a little serious, try to see if I can help somebody with my life experience. Cause at this point I'm 25. So, you know, I'm looking for, I'm not trying to really mess around too much. Like I said, I just bought the condo. I got a car. I got a puppy. I have a full-time job. I'm gaming. I'm trying to you know, settle down a little bit. So, I mean, maybe somebody who's in their early 20s or even in high school can watch this video and maybe it'll help them. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, if you have any more questions, you can leave them in the comments. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. I'm going to start posting way more. Like I said, I just I ordered that PC, so that'll help me because I've been running everything off an Xbox which doesn't really allow me to do too much. But yeah, so look forward to more videos in the future. And yeah, it's been Dillyland. Peace.